Brian Detmer alters the way we see books, literally. He slices, whittles, tears into them, bending and molding forgotten pages into memorable works of art. It's really like reading in a way. I don't know what's coming on the next page. In his Atlanta studio, this 36-year-old artist keeps carving, looking for blocks of words and images to highlight. After a week or two, what's left is an original, three-dimensional interpretation. You can kind of take that text and isolate it. And Detmer started out as a painter, but 10 years ago he moved to books, seeing hardcovers as his new blank canvas. I like to suggest the idea that information is being lost. I think that right now in time we're at a really pivotal moment with our relationship to books. He uses only vintage nonfiction, old encyclopedias, history books, medical texts, books otherwise headed for the dumpster. But he knows in his work some book lovers see only mutilated texts. Nobody wants to throw this away, but you know, nobody really knows what to do with some of, the, you know, some of the more outdated books. The timelessness of the material is something that um, I like to kind of exploit in a way, I guess. And they've become high-priced fixtures. The average piece sells for $4,000. On the upper end, $20,000. Detmer has held exhibits in Europe, Asia, Chicago, New York, and recently here at the Saltworks Gallery in Atlanta. I like the idea of creating this uh, sculpture that could be seen 360. When you read a book, you typically start on page one at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Is there a beginning here? Do you care where people start? Uh, not at all. Brian Holcomb is the curator at Saltworks. He says it's the sculpture's originality that attracts fans. Every single time I see a new body of work, it feels completely fresh and dynamic. Nothing predictable? No. I might find something 10 pages down that works. It's that unpredictability Detmer enjoys, and a message he hopes resonates. It's survival of the fittest, and uh, we have, um, you know, books will always have their place, and I don't think that books will ever be dead. An artist with a mission, sculpting a new chapter for a vanishing form of art. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.